Hello, today we are going to create a ping pong game together. Remove the cat, add a pedal. Go to costumes. We are going to make this pedal vertical. Now duplicate this, we will make a red pedal. I'll make the green pedal on the left, the red pedal on the right. We need to draw two lines. This black color. Make it thicker. Just draw a vertical line. After that, make sure it's aligned to the center. We call this line one. And it's going to be on the left side. Duplicate the line. This line is on the right side. Let's change the pedal name to player one and player two. We also need a ball. Since it's a ping pong game, let's make the ball smaller. Now let's look at how to make the code. We want to move both player one and player two up and down. So when the green flag clicked, we will always start from this location then we will use a forever loop. For the left pedal, we will use W and S to control. So if key W is pressed, I will go up. So I will change Y by 10. Let's duplicate this. If key S is pressed, I will change Y by minus 10. Drag this over to red pedal. Now we duplicate the code to red pedal. For red pedal, it will start from the right side and for the red pedal we will control using the arrows so it's either up arrow or down arrow and that's all the code we need for the pedals now let's look at the boss since this is a game we'll use scores to keep track so let's go to variables i will make two variables one is for player one and the other one for player two when green flag clicked i want the ball to always start from the center of the screen and I will start from a random direction. So point in direction, pick a random number from 0 to 360. And the ball needs to keep on moving, so we will have a forever loop. I want the ball to move 8 steps. But once it touch the edge, it will bounce back. Now, if the ball touch player one, it will change direction. Similarly, if it touch player two, it will change direction as well. So we'll have a if, if I touch player one, I'll need to bounce to the right. So let's look at the direction. We can choose between 60 and 120. So point direction. Pick a random number from 60 to 120. And I want to play a sound. So let's go to sounds, delay this, go to spots. We have a ping pong hit. So we are going to play the sound. If the ball touch player two, we will have a similar code. So put it below. If I touch player two, but this time I need to bounce to the left. So if I bounce to the left, I will use minus 60 to minus 120. So this will be minus 60 to minus 120. I'll still play the sound. Let's put this inside the forever loop. Next, we're going to look at if the ball touch the black lines, the opposite party will get one score. And we need to restart the game. So if touching line one, if I touch line one, player two will get one score. Change. Player 2 by 1. We will need to restart the game. So I will go to 0, 0. And I'll point to the right. So I'll point in direction. Let's do the same when it hits player 1. So pick a random number from 60 to 120. And I'm going to pause for 2 seconds before the ball starts moving again. Ready? Go. For 2 seconds. Similarly, if the ball touch line 2. So duplicate. Put it below. If I touch line 2, 
the direction should be minus 60 to minus 120. And we need to increase the score of player 1 by 1. Now let's drag this inside the forever loop. And remember when we start the game, we need to reset the two scores. So we'll do set player 1 to be 0 and set player 2 to be 0. Now let's try. Have fun with Scratch.